Hi, my name is Vanessa Conlin, Master of Wine and Head of Wine at Wine Access. And as part of the Decanter Club, I'm going to be tasting the 2012 vintage of the La Rioja Alta Viña Ardanza Rioja Reserva. So Rioja is arguably the most famous region in Spain. Uh, it's in northern Spain and it's protected from the Atlantic Ocean's cooling influences by the Sierra Cantabria Mountains. So it allows for a long dry growing season, which is really perfectly suited for its native variety, Tempranillo. Within this region, there's um, a contrast of traditional and modern producers, but this is very, very singularly a traditional producer. Now, you might notice the word Reserva on the label. Um, there are aging requirements within Rioja, and if it says Reserva, you know it has to have spent one year in oak and a minimum of two years in bottle. But in reality, most producers like La Rioja Alta go well beyond the required aging requirements. This is, uh, oak is really at the heart of the winemaking at La Rioja Alta. And as a result, they actually have their very own master cooper on site who makes all of their own barrels. This actually has a little bit of um, garnacha in it or grenache as you might know it from Spain as well in the blend. And it was aged for 36 months in four year old American oak. The fruit is sourced from several different vineyards throughout the sub-regions of Rioja Alta and Rioja Oriental. But let's taste this together, this wine that received 94 points from Decanter. It's definitely garnet in the glass, and I'm not surprised given that this is a 2012 vintage, so it has had some time to slumber in bottle. On the nose, it has re that really distinct note of American oak. Uh, right off the bat, I get this sort of coconut dill aroma. And then there's a macerated cherry note to it. There's leather, there's spice, there's an earthiness to it. Um, and a really intriguing mix of there's still freshness, there's still fresh fruit in this, but it also has these tertiary notes from being uh, in bottle for so long. Now, when you taste this, I'd love to encourage you to really let it touch every corner of your palate so you can notice not just what you're tasting, but how it feels. It's very mouth filling. There's a richness and a lightness at the same time. There is a buoyancy due to the acidity, but there's quite a bit of fullness as well. The tannins are kind of sandy and soft while still present. I definitely feel a drying sensation on my tongue, but it's not those really aggressive or firm tannins that you can find in other regions. And that makes sense both because of the variety, but also because it's had time to resolve and bottle over time. Again, that sort of balsamic note to it macerated cherry there's a lot of earthiness to it and definitely again lingering on the finish is that classic marker of la rioja alta of american oak enjoy